Utando luka baba Luya mangalisa Olutando luka baba Luya mangalisa Utando luka baba Luya mangalisa Oh lutando luka baba Luya mangalisa Utando luka baba Luya mangalisa Utando luka baba Luya mangalisa Utando luka baba Luya mangalisa Oh lutando luka baba Luya mangalisa Utando luka baba Luya mangalisa Oh, Lutando, Luka Baba, Luya Mangalisa. When I got to Northern Rhodesia, after I had been involved in the Dompa strike in Pretoria, uh, I decided to build a school for the people who had, who had gone to Northern Rhodesia, people who, have, who had left the country from South Africa. I found that the children that I was teaching from nursery school up to grade seven, most of them were hungry. And you know, without nutrition getting into your brain and into your system and giving you immunity and being sick every day, the children cannot assimilate the knowledge. So it is for that reason that I started first with backyard gardens in the compound where I was living. And then when I retired, I bought the farm and I started with women in agriculture. What is happening now on the ground is that I've started, I've renewed the backyard garden with many, many people in the compounds. The little piece that they have, they can plant a two, two, two or three plants of tomato and onion and potato and rape and spinach and so forth. And they are able to have a decent, nutritious meal. Get involved in agriculture. Agriculture is not mostly in town, it's out in the village. When you go to the village, you find all types of people. Try to learn from them because education is power. Knowledge is power. Whether it is traditional knowledge or it is a new look knowledge, it is power. You must engage yourself in each and everything that you are trained in. Some of you are trained in uh, what you call looking after children. When you look after children, make sure that you give them the nutrition that they need in good times, if, if you are a social worker, if you are trained as an extension officer, don't refuse to go to us in the rural area and tell us how to do it and what to do. We are the experiment. We are the test tubes for you people to prove, to have evidence that this works or this does not work. When, when you do your research, please, don't sit at it, put it in the cupboards and leave it in the office or in the storeroom. Come to us and tell us, this mama, granny, it will work like this. This go go will work like this. And don't look down upon us. We've got uh, uh, traditional knowledge, you know. And uh, again, they think that uh, when you are old, you are archaic. You don't know anything. You've got old ideas which do not work. No. You must infuse them together, the new knowledge and the old knowledge. Let them work together and see which one is the best. Yeah. In 20 years' time, I would like to see these great grandchildren of mine, because they're great grandchildren of mine now. I would like them to be in politics because Without proper politics, because politics is what makes the law, is policy. The policies of the government are made up there. Get in and please, when you get in there, you make good policies. Number two, you retain your culture and your history.
and your background and your traditions to keep them, the good ones. There are some better uh, uh, practices in traditions, but retain the good ones. Don't have prejudice. Don't have discrimination. Don't be subjugated when you are married to the husbands. No. That is why I would say I started Zambian Women in Agriculture. Because this gender streaming with our men more especially, it's very difficult. It's the men, the politicians, the male politicians who said that you are teaching our women to be independent, to divorce us. Mm. You see, <laughs> it, it, it was a, a, this gender thing, I think, I feel, this is my opinion, that women should have their own corner where they do their own things their own way, and also the men. But there should be a time when they should meet together. What I realize is that when I, on a Saturdays, when I call the men and the women together, the women will zip their mouths, will never say one word. And the men now will be talking. I said, no, this is Zambian women in agriculture. Let the women talk. And you young men, don't say that, who are you? You're only a woman. You are made, and I'm not going to do anything for you. I am the head of the house. You must listen to me. No. Please, you young ladies, you're my great-grandchildren, don't allow your husband to subjugate you, to tell you that you were made by God from under my pit. So you're under my pit. No. We are equal. We are the same. I want to say to the youth, young as you are, we have problems with you. As it says here, we are advocating for your engagement in agriculture. It is because maybe we have observed that when you grow up or maybe you finish your O-level, my son one time told me, I was okay, I said, oh, why, but why don't you help me? Say, hey, mom, I'm now a teacher. Huh? My son, my own son. I'm a teacher. How could, how you expect me to go to the fields? I, I was quiet. Slowly, slowly, there are those who will grow the laugh. Sometimes I go away as I'm here for the whole week. If there was no one who had an interest in agriculture among my children, I would find all my plants dry. But then as they saw that they were picking from the garden and going to the pot, they got the interest. Sometimes I, I come back, I find they've cultivated, they've watered, then I say that is the right thing. So, ladies and gentlemen here, I want to say to you, there is no other field that can raise our economy in Swaziland either than going to the field and cultivate. There is money in the soil. There is everything in the soil. <laughs> Give yourself time. You don't have to do it the hard way, but do it slowly, slowly, and finish. By the end of the day, you stand up and say, what have I done? Oh, today, that is what I did. Eh? Oh, tomorrow, I'm going to do that and that. Do it slowly. I want you to be messengers. I want you to be advocates. When you go out there, go and call. <coughs> your colleagues, share with them the knowledge that you got here.